In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize the fonts on your WordPress website in five different ways. Let's go. So the first method you can utilize to customize the fonts on your WordPress website is by looking at the theme that you're using, because a lot of the times uh, the theme that you use on your WordPress website already has the functionality built in to customize the fonts and typography on your WordPress website. Let me give you a quick example. This is a demo website that I've grilled or I built using the Astra theme. And for a fact, I know that the Astra theme does have the functionality to customize the fonts. And the functionality is actually presented in the WordPress customizer. So what I'll do is go to the customizer by clicking this customize button right here. And once the customizer opens, I'll locate the typography options, which are present under the global options. So I'll go to the global section right here, go to the typography options right here. And these are the options that I have in the Astra theme to customize my fonts. So I have a few different presets also. So for example, I don't want to uh, find out or don't want to experiment with different font combinations myself. So there are predefined font combinations that I can use right here. As you can see, instantly the uh, second I'm clicking and the fonts on my website are actually changing. I can also change the basic fonts right here from the menu itself. So for example, if I want to change the body font or the headings font, I can do it right here. So by clicking this pencil icon, the menu for typography customization will open up. And right now, as you can see, the font family is set to Poppins. But if I click this drop down menu, let's say if I scroll up, Let's say I switch it to Helvetica, then instantly you can see the heading fonts actually change up. And as you can see, this uh, Astra theme has a bunch of fonts integrated. All the Google fonts technically are integrated with the Astra theme. So depending on what theme you're using, you might already have this functionality built in to customize the fonts on your website. And as you can see, apart from changing the uh, font for the headings and for the body, I can also customize the headings for H1, H2, H3. That means different kinds of headings customizable right here inside the theme. So your theme might provide you with the functionality that you need need already to customize the fonts on your website. That's for method number one. Let's go to method number two. So let's talk about the second method you can utilize to customize the fonts on your WordPress website. Now, this method will apply only to people who are using uh, the modern block based theme. For example, I'll show you my screen right here. And I've activated instead of the Astra theme, I've activated the 2022 theme right now on the WordPress website. And how do you know that this is a block based theme? Because under appearance, instead of noticing that instead of the customizer, you start getting this editor option right here, which is still in beta, but it's still functional. So if you are using a block based theme, you won't see the customizer on your website. That's the first time that you're using a block based theme. And if you like that theme, you already want to use it and still want to customize the fonts on your website, the method is a little bit different. What you'll do is go to the editor option right here by clicking this option right here. This will open up the newer editor uh, in the WordPress uh, I say interface, which is more of a blog based approach to changing. And what the option you have here is uh, the ability to customize a lot of uh, styles in terms of presets. So you can create an entire preset and change it across themes. So Maybe what you see on the screen right here will be something like this, or maybe you will see something like this. But what you need to remember is that to open the styles options or open the style options, you'll have to click this option, this button right here, which is called styles. So once you click this, you'll see start seeing the styles option. And inside the style option, you see the colors and the layout. And of course, you see the typography options as well. So if I click the typography option, I'll scroll down and I'll see the typography option for elements. That means the links and the text. So let's say if I click text, I have now the option to change the font family from system font to something else. And as you can see, the font family instantly changes right here. If I go back to default, you see the default option, system font, or I say serif. And I can also change the size of the font and I can also change the line height and also change some of the display options. So I've, I can change the font from bold to italic or something, whatever the font actually supports, the font family actually supports, I can actually change it and the font family will start reflecting that change. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the page I designed was designed with the Astra theme. If you just use the 2022 basic theme, the interface as is different. And depending on the theme that you're using in terms of the block themes, the functionality or the customization ability inside the fonts will also change. You might see more fonts, you might see less fonts, but the functionality or the way to change the font is through this interface right here. This was method number two on how to customize your fonts inside your WordPress website. Let's go to method number three. So let's talk about the third method you can utilize to customize the fonts on your WordPress website. And this method will apply to people who are using a non block based theme, that means regular WordPress themes, but still don't want to have the functionality to customize the fonts directly from the theme. For example, just for this demonstration, what I did was instead of using the 2022 theme or the Astra theme, I switched to the 2020 theme, an older version of the WordPress default theme. And if you go to the customizer right here, you can explore all the menu options all the options and you won't find an option to customize the text or customize the typography or customize the fonts on your website. So how do you customize the fonts in this case? That's the answer. 
which I'm going to discuss right now. And the easiest solution to this is by using a font management plugin or a font plugin, which I'm going to use or demonstrate right now. Now, there are tons of plugins out there, right? You can go into the plugins directory and install any of the font plugins. But the plugin I found that works the best is called Easy Google Fonts. Easy Google Fonts is a fantastic plugin. I'll just demonstrate how it works. But the idea is it gives you access to Google Fonts. It also gives you access to a lot of different customization options, not just picking a separate font, right? That's why I recommend that you use this uh, plugin for changing your fonts or customizing fonts. So let's install this plugin by going to the plugins menu, add new. And since this is a free plugin available in the WP repository, we just have to search for the plugin name and the plugin should show up. Do keep in mind that other plugins might also look similar. So you might uh, accidentally install the Sidekit plugin, but we are looking at this plugin right here, Easy Google Fonts. Let's install the plugin. Plugin is installed. Let's also activate it. Once the plugin is installed, you'll see some of the notice right here, but you can skip this by just going into the settings or by clicking this option right here inside the settings, which will bring you to the same page. Now, this options can be a little bit more confusing to set up. So if you're just looking to change the fonts on your website, I would suggest that you go right here, manage with live preview, click this button right here, leave this page, and you will go to the customizer directly and you will see a typography option being introduced right here on the customizer. So if you're in the main page, typography, Inside typography, you'll see all the options to customize the fonts on your website. So paragraph, heading one, heading two, up till heading six. Let's try and change the font of this home uh, label by going to home uh, heading one right here. Now you have options to change the uh, font family. So right now it's set to Arial, but I can go to any of the fonts and you can see how long I have to scroll to find all the options. There's tons of options available to me. So I click this one and the font instantly changes. I can pick uh, fonts based on languages. I can also uh, change the weightage. For example, I just made it a little bit heavier. Decoration, that means underline, line through, overline, all these options. But I also have the option of changing the styles. So if I go right here, I can change, pick the font color. I can also change the position. That means setting up margins, paddings, borders, border radius, and display options for all fonts. And I can customize this for heading one, paragraph one, heading two, all the different fonts on my website. So instead of just giving you the option of changing the font, you have complete control over how you want uh, the typography of your website to be changed. So that's why I recommend this plugin to you because it gives you a lot more control and it also makes it very easy for you to change the fonts on your website if that's the only thing that you want to do. So this was method number three on how to customize your website or customize the typography of fonts on your website in the easiest way possible. Let's talk about method number four. So talking about method number four to customize the fonts or the typography on your WordPress website, this will apply to only people who are using page builders on your website. Now I'm going to be using a page builder called SeedProd on my website, but this will apply to any page builder because the functionality is there, but the interface might be just a little bit different. So I have SeedProd installed and activated on my website. And let me just clarify that I'm going to be demonstrating using a landing page, which is a standalone page that I've created or just imported from SeedProd. But what you can do is this using the same functionality, you can customize any of the posts or pages on your site. So you can design an entire page using SeedProd, or you can set up an entire theme or customize the entire theme of your website using SeedProd as well. All that functionality is present in SeedProd and different page builders might have different functionality, but the ability to customize the font will still be there. So since I've already have uh, created a landing page right here, you can see SeedProd landing pages I have inside here, landing pages. Let me edit this page and I'll demonstrate how you can customize the typography of your pages using SeedProd. So what I'll do is click the edit button and this will open up the SeedProd design interface where I can customize the page, not just the typography, but I can add all these elements to design my page visually. So if I want to add images, I can just drag and drop headings, text, lists, all these elements can be added to my pages. But since we are customizing the fonts, what I'll do is select the uh, uh, select the element or widget that I want to customize. So right now, let's say I want to uh, customize the typography of this heading right here. So I'll click right here and you'll see this section being changed because right now we are seeing the blocks and sections, but as soon as I click, this will open up the options of this particular widget or element. So now we have options for the headline. So we have the content options, which you can see, you can change the actual text of the headline. You can make it bold, italic, underline, or strike through, add a link here, and some basic options. You can also change the level of the heading and also change the font. But to go to change typography options, what you'll do is go right here inside the advanced options. And you'll see the styles options. Inside this, you have the typography options. You have the color options, text shadow options. Let's open up the typography options to demonstrate what options we have available to customize the typography. So I'll click this button right here and you have the font family default, which is coming from the theme right directly, the default theme uh, font, but you can change it to anything you like. For example, I can change it to Helvetica, I can Georgia, 
any of the fonts that are available. And we also have, or Seedplot also has Google fonts available right here. So you can scroll to all the around 600, 700 fonts and customize the font to your heart's desire. You also have the option to change the font weight and also change the font depending on the device. So this is an important feature. Let's say on a desktop, this font looks good, but maybe in a mobile view, you want the font size to be a little bit different. So what you can do is customize that option as well. And apart from this, you can also change the line height, line spacing, and some other elements, depending on what device your visitor is actually visiting the page from. So this is the way that you use page builders to customize the typography, typography or fonts on your WordPress website. All right, let's go to method number five. So let's talk about the fifth and final method to customize the fonts on your WordPress website. And for this method, we'll be using the native built-in controls inside the block editor inside WordPress to customize the font and typography of a WordPress website. And just for clarifying, uh, what I've done is switch to the Astra theme once again, because this functionality is dependent slightly on the theme that you're using. So depending on the theme, your mileage will vary depending on what are the kind of options I'm gonna demonstrate. So once the theme is done, let's open up a page on our website, which we'll start customizing the fonts for. So I'll go to the pages section right here, all pages. And let's pick this uh, instructors page because I know it has a lot of content defined or what I ins already installed from the Astra theme. So right now, this is the page already built up. Let's say I want to change some of the functionality or some of the font or customize some of the font that is here. So I'll click this option and this will open up the block based settings right here. So instantly you can see some of the options being available. I can change the text color and the background color. So if I check, uh, click the text icon, I can go to this and instantly you can see the text color has changed or I can do this or this. So any of the font combinations that are present already, so theme-based uh, color combination, also default uh, font colors, you can actually do it all right here. And you can also change the background color. For example, let's say black on something like this. Just to give an example, I'm not a professional designer, so it might not look great. But here is what you can do to actually customize the uh, font colors and the background color. But you have some additional options here as well. You have the typography options, so you can change the size of this option right here but you can also do some more for, uh, fee, or you can also do some more here. So you see, notice this typography option right here. There's a three dotted menu right here. If you click on this, you'll see all these options come up. And what this allows you to do is inside the typography options, the additional options are actually hidden behind this three dotted menu. So right now, as you saw, we had this font size come up here, but if it changes to appearance, now we have a different set of options available here. So if I click this, you see all the different appearances of the font that I'm using are now available for me to customize and choose. So the default one is selected right now. Let's say I go to extra bold italic and instantly see this uh, font actually change right here. So this is also another option available for me to customize the font on my website. And what I can do is instead of going to just uh, appearance, I can also do is line height. So now I can change the line height as well. I can do letter case and I can change the letter casing as well. So I, let's say if I want everything to be in upper caps, I can click this button right here. And I can also add letter spacing and also drop cap. So whatever option you enable here, here you can see all this right here, will be enabled or added to this specific section and will start showing up here. And let's say you change your mind on something and let's say you don't want to use a functionality, you can just click right here. Let's say I don't want to use the letter case, I'll just click right here and that will disappear and the setting will be also reset to the default options. So. Inside the WordPress interface itself, you have some of the functionality to customize the fonts on your website. Definitely you can't change the font right here, but as I said, you can use a combination of these methods to customize the fonts and then also change some of the font styles right here inside WordPress. And that's it for this video. Watch some related videos right here, which I'll place on the screen. And if you're interested in easy to follow along WordPress tutorials, just like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video.